सो अवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज हाउ मेनी टाइप ऑफ लोड इन अवर क्लिक सेंस ओके सो टूडे आई एम टेलिंग यू हाउ मेनी टाइप ऑफ लोड इन अ क्लिक सेंस इन अ क्लिक सेंस वी हैव थ्री टाइप ऑफ लोड फर्स्ट इज अ प्रिसीडिंग लोड थर्ड और सेकेंड इज अ रेसिडेंट लोड एंड थर्ड इज अ इन लाइन लोड सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू मेक अ कनेक्शन सो यर आई एम मेकिंग अ कनेक्शन टू एक्सट्रैक्ट डेटा फ्रॉम माई फाइल सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज मेकिंग अ कनेक्शन सो जस्ट सिलेक्ट द फोल्डर एंड क्रिएट द न्यू डेटा कनेक्शन फोल्डर सो इन द क्लिक सेंस I uh, I just create my data connection here. I give name to this data set folder. See now I'm extract my files using that data connection folder. So I choose train CSV. So this is a script. and here you can see the field also just load your data and now we see our data model click on the preview first select the table and then click on preview so here we can see our field name so go to the data model or uh, data uh, load editor and here i give name to my table i'll give name to table 1 sorry table as not 1 so in the preceding load we use the two load okay in the preceding load we use the two table okay so in my load i just want to load uh, just two field from these uh, list of field i just want to load two field so battery power and blue these uh, my two field i i just want that uh, i just want to load that field so i write that field in my first row first load ओके जस्ट क्लिक ऑन लोड डेटा इट इजीली लोड डेटा देन गो टू द डेटा मॉडल व्यू क्लिक ऑन द टेबल एंड सी बैटरी पावर एंड ब्लू दिस टू फील्ड आर लोडेड सो इन द प्रेसिडिंग लोड वी यूज द टू लोड ओके एंड यूजिंग दैट वी कैन perform a uh, transformation here we can perform transform transformation and also the we can do the alias so i give the blue field rename that field and give the name color so here we can see all the changes i'll give the name to my section preceding load so now everyone understand what is the preceding load the second one is the resident load okay preceding load means main table perform any transformation and anything on your main table okay resident table i just copy that data script for my resident load so what is a resident load resident load means um making duplicate copy of our original data set see this is our original data set okay in the resident load we uh, use that uh, we create the duplicate copy of our data set so table 1 is our main data set and i create i am creating duplicate copy of my table 1 okay this is my table 2 here i load battery and blue field okay 
only these two fields from my main data table so resident table 1 means i create the duplicate copy of my first table and just load simply load your um, data and i drop the table 1 semicolon see data is easily loading battery power and blue so these field is loaded from our main data table and i drop the table one so i remove that um, i comment out that statement and anyone can tell me what happened here it create the synthetic key synthetic key means in our data table uh, in a two or more table having two or more common value common field sorry common field then it create the synthetic key so in a table one and table two we have two common field first is a battery uh, and second is a uh, blue color and first is the battery power so these two are the common in our both the table so it create the synthetic key synthetic key means two or more table having two or more common field then it create the synthetic key so how to remove synthetic key it very easy using the three technique you can easily remove your synthetic key first is the alias second is the composite key and third is the link table okay i just want i give the alias battery and blue as a color double quotes okay hmm. you see the changes I rename the field name hmm. uh, now I want to load first table I mean same as so here I use the star so it exact replica it creating exact replica of our first table one just we see the data model and find out what happening here anyone can me anyone can tell me what happened here see we can only see one data table why because if we having common uh, if we having same schema then it automatically concatenate okay that's why we having uh, only one table what's happening here table one and table two is the uh, same okay you can see no table no table two only we have a table one so what happening here so table one and table two having same schema that's why it's automatically concatenate so i write the no concatenation To remove that concatenation so I use the no concatenation okay just load data and now you can see synthetic key generated fine because we know synthetic key means two or more table having two or more uh, common field in a both the tables so in a table one and table two all fields are same that's why the synthetic key is generated Hmm? 
you can see that all the field is here in a synthetic table see synthetic one table one so go to the load editor and another technique is alias so i remove no concatenation and write it uh, and here i writing qualify use the qualified statement qualify star star means alias all the field star semicolon and load my data so see the changes what happening okay go to the data model see this is a table 2 so here is a table 2 dot battery power table 2 dot blue means table name dot field name table name dot field name okay so this is our resident load resident load means exact copy of our main data table okay and preceding table means main data table in a main data table we can perform any transformation using the second load in a preceding load we have we use the two load okay everyone understand now what is the receding load what is the uh, uh, preceding load so now i click on the plus icon and give the name to my section is the inline load so inline load is a manual creation of our sorry inline load is a manual creation of our main data table oh, sorry inline creation of our data table so this uh, inline load exit script this is the exit script inline load means manual creation of our data table means in a inline table we can manually uh, write our data manually write our data okay so i give name giving name to my table so this is table one load star wait load star in line then to bracket the space semicolon yes name comma age ria comma 60 Pia, comma, ninety. Gia, comma, twenty. So I create uh, I create this table manually. Okay. Now see the result. Aria, Pia, Gia, sixty, ninety, twenty. Name age. So inline load means manual creation of our data means we can create a create a data manually means write it write each and every data this is the third method okay so in a um, click sense we have a three type of load first is the receding load sorry preceding load second is the resident load third is the inline load there is a two other load incremental load and buffer load i teach you that load in the next upcoming video so that's it these two load these three load i hope everyone understands